Welcome back to the SST classroom. Now my dear children, today we are going to start new lesson. That is lesson number 10, Agriculture in India. Now my dear children, you know what is the meaning of agriculture. Can you tell me what is the meaning of agriculture? Means the practice of growing crop is called agriculture. In simple word we can say the cultivation of land is known as agriculture. Got it? So my dear children, agriculture has played an important role in the development of human civilization. Confused about human civilization? Now my dear children, just take example of early humans. You have learned in the third standard about the early humans, right? They used to uh, go, uh, they used to wander in the forest in search of food, right? But when these early humans, when they come to know about the growing crop, so what happened? They settled near the river bank, they settled in one place and they started doing the agriculture. They started growing the crop. In this way, they settled there and form a society. Got it? So that is a human civilization. Okay, my dear children. Now, it allowed the early human to lead a settled life. Got it? What allow? Agriculture allowed the early human to settle their life. Okay? So, my dear children, India is known for a agriculture country. Most of the people, they are engaged in agriculture. Two third of Indian population, they involve in the occupation of agriculture. Got it? Now my dear children, agriculture, what the agriculture provides us? It provides us food, fruits and many things. Right? So, Agriculture provides food and also raw material to the industries. Now, my dear children, you might be confused about the raw material. So, my dear children, what is the raw material? Just take example of, uh, just take example of wood. So, here wood is raw material. Now, from wood, you can make, in, in industry, this raw materials it convert into finished product like chair, cupboard. What uh, what is made from wood? Many things is made from wood. So from where it comes? It comes from agriculture. Now just take example of another. Just take example of one fruit. Fruit here is a raw material. Now when this juice is made from this fruit, you might be able to drink many juice. So in your fruit, mango fruit is a raw material and when, I, when it is made a juice into, uh, in the industry that is a finished product. So that is what raw material is uh, agriculture provide raw material to the industry and this industry they convert the raw material to the finished product. Got it my children? I hope you have understood about this. Now my dear children, most of the about 70% national incomes, it comes from agriculture. Right? So, as you know, India has a favorable climatic condition. You know, for growing crop, it needs a proper climatic condition, good soil, right? So India has a good soil, good favorable climatic condition and also irrigation facilities. So because of that, Indian farmers, they grow a wide variety of crop. You might be have learned in third standard that in different states, the crops are grown in the, uh, the crops are different. If you will see in the North India, wheat production is a large quantity is in North India. Why? Because here the 
facilities of water and the soil is a very good for growing a crop like wheat okay so in each state you see the different types of crops are grown so my dear children in the next video we are going to learn about the main crops right so by the time what you will do read the textbook and now copy down the new words so here is your new words so first what you are going to write agriculture come on copy the second new words that is practice third development fourth human fifth civilization and sixth settled next that is population and the last national My dear children, you will learn all these new words. 